automation. And this is a huge topic, but I wanted to briefly mention this because I didn't mention in that previous logic tutorial that can be a good, uh, a great thing to add for beginners and intermediates to your tracks to create dynamic. Automation means you can automate something over time. So for example, if we want to do hands off, let's say between bar five and bar nine, we want the guitar to slowly get louder or we want the guitar over time to slowly have more low end or high end. So that would be an EQ automation. To open up our automation interface, we're gonna press A on our keyboard. And this will make it look kind of like this, grayed out. This is where we um, program our automation in. And it sounds like, oh, programming, do you have the code or anything? And no, you don't, it's not super hard. So what we do is, how to choose the automation is by, are these drop down boxes here on every track. And by default, they all say volume because volume is the, mo is the most popular automation you can do. In order to actually start the automation, we have to click into the track that we want the automation on. So for example, our guitar. So click in, and now it's created this line for me. If I drag this line up and down, it's moving my volume here, right? This fader and this fader below. I want it to start down here, and I'm just gonna click some dots. I'm gonna click the lines, and this, is cr this creates dots. You can also click the dots again, and press backspace to delete them. But basically it's kind of just like using paint. Like you click the dot in and then you drag the dot to where you want it to go. And then let's say, I don't want it such a big slope. Put another dot in and just draw a bit of a curve. You can also I'll show you now what this tool is up here is a curve tool. So the automation curve tool you see before, what the heck is that? Well, that's actually using it, I'll put it on my command tool. So now I have to hold command. And now I can see curve this line. I can do crazy S curves. I can do general curve. So one thing I can do is just click, sorry, click these dots, delete them. Where, and when go back to where I was with this one, press command and just do like a, a huge slope. Maybe I want it to start here too. I don't want an S, so maybe like, maybe like that. So let's hear what that sounds like if I just solo the guitar. So the second piece of automation I wanted to show you is an EQ automation. Now we have to go and find where EQ is in this dropdown. And so, it's, I can click on this drop down, and under automation, we have all these available automations. On every track, you'll have smart controls, volume, and main. And then you'll have a list of numbers here. So these numbers.